Welcome into Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. We hope you've been checking us out on our website at rxhealthylife.com. You can see all of our shows there. Today we have a very special show, Autism. You're going to meet Dr. Julian Maha, Dr. Michelle Maha, and Ashley Harris. You're going to learn about some recipes that are gluten and dairy free, and information that can help you do better things in your community for those with special needs. You won't want to miss it. We'll be right back after these messages. Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles is brought to you in part by the Edie Han Foundation. www.ediehanfoundation.org. Culture City for special needs children and their families. I'm Michelle. We have two children, six and two. Abram, our eldest, has autism and he has been the inspiration and motivation for us to start Culture City where our vision is to provide a center and uh, support for uh, families um, such as ours. Please visit us at our website and find out how. Children's of Alabama has been taking care of kids across our state for over 100 years. The opening of the Benjamin Russell Hospital for Children allows even more patient care. It leads the country in technology and innovation, including 17 state-of-the-art operating rooms, an expanded imaging center, and the Bruno Pediatric Heart Center, just to name a few. Children provides the highest level of care in a loving, comforting environment. I hope that you or anyone in your family never needs to be a patient, but if they do, Children's is here for you. You're watching Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. Welcome into Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. I'm Edie Hand, and my guests today are Dr. Michelle Maha. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. And our singer-songwriter, Ashley Harris. Hi, Thank you. Edie. How are you? Great. Good to Thanks see you for again. Me. Good to see you. And what our viewers don't know is that both of these ladies have special mm -hmm. needs children, mm -hmm. and we have a great recipe that you're sharing with us yes. of your families that yes. is yes. a dressing that could yes. be for holidays or any occasion, mm -hmm. right? That's right. That's right. Well, tell us a little bit about you. So I'm, I'm a pediatrician. Uh, my husband uh, works in the emergency room, um, so we're both physicians. But we have a six-year-old son, um, Abram, who has uh, autism. He was diagnosed about two years ago, and uh, since then we've learned a lot about autism, about how being uh, parents and um, just a family with a child with special needs can be um, very challenging and uh, one of the things that's challenging especially during the holidays or any time is with food and how to have food that's interesting to him that he wants to eat and at the same time that is good for him and can be enjoyed by everybody else. And I was thinking too to make it yes. eye appealing and for you too being a singer songwriter and I know probably you've been inspired by all this right. <laughs> <laughs> but what is that one of your concerns too has been over the years with your children? Sure absolutely you just want to mm -hmm. make sure that you're giving them food that's healthy that they're going to have a you know a healthy diet a balanced diet and that they're mm -hmm. going to feel good and and be happy and that their behavior is not going to go crazy on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goodness, I think I'm in that category. <laughs> but for this recipe, though, really, this is gluten-free mm -hmm. and dairy-free. Mm -hmm. And, you know, really, these are recipes that are good for any of us. Yes, yes. And I see that this is very eye-appealing. This is a dressing recipe. So tell me, first of all, how that uh, this experience in getting your kids to eat better has yes. been like for you yes. as, as I start doing this, this recipe. So I think it's been challenging. I think, you know, one in that just the kind of food that's available these days. If, you could start cutting some. If, um, <laughs> if you don't really, <laughs> if you, uh, um, you know, sometimes we get deceived in the sense that, you know, you buy, you think you're buying a cookie, for instance, and uh, you think it's this cookie and it's um, chocolate. Right. But if you look at the ingredient, it's cookie, chocolate, plus 20 other different things. It's, uh, and, and so, a lot of it is about really looking at what's the ingredient. You know, we have a story. So Abram, our son, he loves French fries. Um, and we went to a drive through and we thought we we're getting him French fries. But when we investigated a little bit more, it was French fries that had milk on it and the different sort of, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And so now we're so conscious, conscious of all this. Of where we get french fries. I mean, something as simple as french fries. It's not really potatoes. It's potatoes plus plus. So. And, and it's a way to educate mm -hmm. 
the public to try mm -hmm. to do better things. Mm -hmm. But this yeah. particular recipe, I'm going to have it on our website yes. on rxhealthylife.com. Mm -hmm. But tell me what's in this. What's the ingredients for this? So this one, um, we the base of it is uh, meat. So we use... Um, We've browned that back here. Yes. How many pounds is that? Um, so it's one pound of beef and one pound of sausage. But you okay. can use anything. You could use one pound of turkey or chicken or you know whatever kind of meat. Have you ever that tried that, actually? To mix that in with these yeah. kinds of, I have. I, mean, yeah. I think that's really actually yeah. interesting that you did that. And I asked you yeah. why all the meat because is that is that sort of adding density to the recipe? Yeah, I think density you know, hold plus, it together. Yeah, and plus it's protein and it's good protein for the kids. And we're always trying to be creative and finding ways of how to sneak things in that we want him <laughs> to eat. So like with this one, you could sneak in spinach, for instance, if you wanted to. You know, it's whatever. Kind of like a thickener. Yeah, because like it hides you, it hides things very well. Oh. So. Beans do that well too. If you're making a salsa or something, but mm -hmm. it, you don't want it to be runny and soupy, so mm -hmm. you'd stir in some some black beans, yeah. and then you have a thickener. So your meat's kind of like your thickener yeah. for this recipe. Yeah. Yeah. And do you have this on like your website, some of these recipes too? Yeah, we can, for sure. And yes. if you put that yeah. on that, and what's that yeah. website? Uh, Culture City, so it's culture with a K, yeah. city.org. And that's great, and yeah. I know too that Ashley, when people want to hear some of your mm -hmm. music and things that's going on, what's your website that they could go to and listen well, to? It's ashleyharris.com. And you've mm -hmm. got a new CD out there this year. I do, I absolutely mm -hmm. do. It's, it's called, called Coming Home. And it's a gospel bluegrass record, and it's available on iTunes. I've on heard our it; it's awesome. Thank you. I'm very proud of you. Oh. Thank you. And Michelle, we're going to be right back, and we're going to mix this up, and we're going to show these folks mm -hmm. how scrumptious this looks, and talk more about this. So stay with us. We'll be mm -hmm. back after these messages. Prescription for healthy lifestyles is brought to you in part by Majestic Salon and Day Spa, located in Summerton, Alabama. Enjoy the latest books from Edie Hand, a portion of sales benefit charities such as St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Visit www.ediehandfoundation.org or your local or online bookstore. Pick up your copies today. Hi, I'm Ashley Harris, and I'd like to introduce you to my new CD, Coming Home, Gospel Bluegrass Record, Couple Hymns, Some Original Tunes. It's available on iTunes and ashleyharris.com. A Pocket Guide for the Alzheimer's Caregiver by Dr. Daniel Potts and his wife Ellen helps you understand this disease and get the best care possible. Go to alzpocketguide.com or any online bookstore for your copy. Stress is simply the power you give to outside circumstance to determine your worth, value, and capability. For quick grab-and-go stress solutions, visit laurenemiller.com and stresssolutionsuniversity.com. You're watching Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. And welcome back into Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. Joining me here is Dr. Michelle Maha and Ashley Harris. And thank you both for being in the kitchen today. Thank you for having Happy us. to be here. Yeah. Well, you know, we've been talking about this recipe of a favorite dressing of yours. Mm -hmm. It's gluten-free and you both yes. gluten-free and dairy-free. Yes. Um, and I love this, that we're, we're learning more about how to help with special needs kids and mm -hmm. going out to our restaurants. But I love this, too, that you're supporting, you're changing out recipes like yes. you don't put milk in, mm -hmm. you put coconut milk yes. in. Why do we do that? Is that allergy related or anything? A lot of the child, um, and you know, especially for Abram, um, and actually for, how about your son? Jacob, yes, lactose yeah. intolerance, so the dairy, the casein you know part of that just that there's an allergy a lot of the times mm -hmm. to soy and dairy yes mm -hmm. so it's a good mm -hmm. substitute mm -hmm. so for us uh, with Abram you can definitely see a difference in his behavior if he's exposed to milk and so we try to be creative like I said before you can substitute with um, coconut milk with soy milk with almond um, mm -hmm. almond milk's great mm -hmm. and even for like with cheese or butter that you cook um, you can substitute that as well which is really nice well, I know that normally we would be putting in like, is it one or two loaves of bread that you would chop up and soak in this? Yeah, so it's about 12 cups and 12 depending cups. on what kind, the size of loaf that you use, um, it's usually about uh, two loaves. And this brand, is this a special, this Rudy's brand, is yeah. that something that's good that so, you like? Yeah, so this is a great brand that we use that you can buy from a local grocery store and Rudy's, mm -hmm. but there's plenty of other brands that um, local stores will carry. You just have to make sure that it's gluten-free. I use Udi's, it's mm -hmm. U-D-I, and that's mm -hmm. a 
Rhodesian Rhodes. Rhodes. Now, how fun is I know, that? That's funny. I mean, I know. you know, I mean, it really yeah, is. It's, Those it's are fun names. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's great. And then with the beef that we that you have browned mm -hmm. here, and I like mm -hmm. that. Did you put onions in that too? Yeah, so you brown the onion first. Um, mm -hmm. and sausage? After that, you add the meat. So the, for this particular one, it's beef and sausage. So one pound, A pound of beef. Mm -hmm. And then you put in your celery. Right, so then you'll, yeah, so it's two cups of um, celery. Uh, Actually, it's uh, one cup of celery and then two cups of peppers. Okay, I like that. And then what yeah. are our seasonings here? Yeah, and then your seasoning would be um, um, salt, pepper. It's a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and that is just uh, crushed red peppers that mm -hmm. you can put in. But you can, you know, mix it up a little bit. If you like it a little bit spicy, you can kick it up a notch, and if you don't, you yeah. can always remove that. that's gonna yeah. give a little bit of kick. Mm -hmm. And Definitely. the coconut milk has sweetness to it, so it makes it A sweet. nice balance. Yeah, so it's kind of sweet and so salty. So yummy, I love coconut milk, yeah. yum. And Great then when you put this sweets. together, how long do you bake it when you mix it all up? Do you, do you you've got this brown, you yeah. put it in the oven for, mm -hmm. and set it on what, mm -hmm. 350 maybe? Yeah, so 350 cover it with aluminum foil, foil for about, um, an hour and then you take off the foil and sort of let it brown on top for about 20 so minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it looks pretty. Well, and I think that's something <laughs> so that families will want to try. Yeah. And do you give them a side dish with this sometimes or is this the main? I mean, it's pretty filling because it's yeah. got bread and milk, the coconut milk in mm -hmm. it, and then the meat and the veggie. Um, so usually they just eat this on, in itself, but you can serve it with anything really. Mm -hmm. with yeah. Mm -hmm. What do they eat for desserts? Because if you're looking at allergies and that, what's a good dessert mm -hmm. that you probably do for them? Smoothies. Yeah. Smoothies. Fruit yeah. smoothies yeah. all the way. Yeah. Really? They love yeah. it. And, yeah. and for kids that have that, mm -hmm. you know, sensory sensitivity mm -hmm. to like texture and, and just how, how it feels mm -hmm. in their mouth, mm -hmm. smoothie is a great alternative. You add a banana in there, mm -hmm. it's going to be kind of frothy and, mm -hmm. and they love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, tell me this, Ashley. I know, uh, tell them about your, your two boys what it's been like right. for you. Well, my two sons, Jacob and Christian. Jacob has Asperger's syndrome, so that's a high-functioning autism. And then Christian is more fallen in that ADD category with some mild, you know, symptoms of we're not really sure what mm. yet, but we definitely have learned through the years, and Jacob is going to be 20 this year. Oh. Um, I've met him. He's quite a young man. <laughs> he's wonderful, yeah. and he's, he's so intelligent. But we have learned through the years that, you know, diet plays a big part mm. in managing all of this, and if you don't want to jump onto the medicate your child bandwagon and you mm -hmm. want to find holistic and organic ways to help your children then diet is where you need to start mm -hmm. and and there's there's more that we'll talk about that later but Jeff, definitely the big culprits are the wheat that dairy casein and soy and, if, and we're going to put these recipes on all three of our sites and your website and show them your new album we're very proud of you actually mm -hmm. thank you this yeah. is my new cd coming home and uh, you can buy this at ashleyharris.com or on itunes <laughs> all right and tell us about Culture City, and you and your husband have founded this, uh, this new organization mm -hmm. to make a difference for families all over the country, and mm -hmm. how can they learn more about you guys? Uh, so Culture City was birthed um, about four months ago, really. Um, you know, we've, we've had, Abram was diagnosed, like I said, two years ago, and it's been quite a journey, and we've met a lot of families, and we're very blessed to be in a community that's so embracing and supportive. Um, but we've realized also that you know having a child with autism or Asperger's or any other special needs can be quite isolating just by virtue of how you have to be when you have to go to therapies all the time you know friends don't really know how to behave and react and so then they don't come visit you know it's just simple things like that but in the end it becomes pretty um, it can be pretty isolating mm -hmm. and so it was a chance meeting um, with another family um, a couple months ago that uh, we really touch our heart and it was through the encounter that we decided that we wanted to do something um, where it's gonna be about the family, about the family and about the child and about how we can bring the community back together to be uh, supportive of the family. That's awesome. Um, and, and that's how Culture City came about. And, and the can, website is? Yeah, so it's www.culturecity.org. I wish Thank there was you. something like that 15 years ago. Uh, you know, Dr. <laughs> Michelle Maha, Ashley Harris, thank you so much for being a part of Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. <laughs> and we'll be back after these messages. Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles is brought to you in part by IBelieveInMeKids.com. Visit us for more fun and activities. Hi, I'm Sina House, and I'm taking a minute with children to learn about some very exciting things happening at the hospital this holiday season and how people like us can get involved. 
I'm here with Ms. Jennifer Denicky, the Director of Child Life and Sunshine School. Ms. Jennifer, I've heard this is a very magical time around here for both patients and their families. Can you tell me about the Sugar Plum Shop? Absolutely. The Sugar Plum Shop is a store that is in the hospital and it's sponsored by Regents Bank. And it's a toy store for families to come in and do their Christmas shopping around the holidays while they're in the hospital. It's absolutely free of charge to our families that we serve. And for more information, you can go to our website at childrensal.org backslash Sugar Plum Shop to learn about the items that we need for the Sugar Plum Shop. We served over 500 children last year and it's free of charge because all the donations come from the community. Thanks so much for this valuable information, Ms. Jennifer, and thank you for joining us for a minute with children. I'm Santa House, and until next time, make sure to make a difference. Culture City for special needs children and their families. I'm Michelle. We have two children, six and two. Abram, our eldest, has autism, and he has been the inspiration and motivation for us to start Culture City where our vision is to provide a center and uh, support for uh, families um, such as ours. Please visit us at our website and find out how. Here's a prescription for a better life with Dr. Julian Maha. As an emergency room doctor, one of the biggest challenges that we face is how do you treat a child with special needs when they come into your emergency room? The biggest tip that I can give families who have children with special needs is that always advocate for your child. If your child is coming in there for belly pain and the child cannot tell you where the pain is or why they are hurting, the family of that child really needs to let the physician know that this is different behavior. That this behavior might be typical for the physician but it's not typical for the family. And that's the key right there. The parents have to advocate and in doing that, they can get the child the best care that they need and in that way, the child can get treated. Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles is brought to you in part by Scott Crump Toyota Scion. You've waited all year, and it's finally here. Toyota Fun is on at Scott Crump Toyota. Get special financing on all Tundras, plus $500 trade-in cash. Drive an all-new redesigned Corolla, $159 a month. Camry, $189 a month. Or try before you buy with a Toyota renter car. Toyota Fun is on at Scott Crump Toyota. But hurry, these year-end deals won't last long. On Highway 78 in Jasper, or online at scottcrumptoyota.com. We'll do whatever it takes. Hi, I'm Edie Hand here at Scott Crump Toyota, and we're paving the way to make a difference for our youth, and you can too. So log on to our websites because we're, we're paving the way. Make a difference, pave the way. Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles wants to help you pave the way to a better life. Welcome back into Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. And joining me is Dr. Julian Maha, and we've been talking about autism. And this is our You Paved the Way segment, and I appreciate so much of what we've learned today. And I would really value your insight into why you really got into Culture City and how it's made a difference for you and your family. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having us on your show. Um, you know, my wife and I have a six-year-old boy with autism who's non-verbal. His name's Abram. Um, and he was diagnosed about two and a half years ago. And during the last two years, we've really met a lot with different families, uh, especially in the Birmingham area. And what we really found out was that a lot of these families were struggling from day-to-day -day living in terms of where to get support services like therapy, where to go to restaurants, where to take their children for haircuts. And out of that was born the desire to really help them tangibly as a family with other families so that we could get them assimilated back to culture and society and sort of give them that social network that a lot of them were lacking, but you know, really didn't know where to find it. So we really wanted to establish a social network for families with kids who had autism and special needs. I think what's so good about this is, is that not only have you started something different, um, and you, you built a website to reach Correct. out globally, and what is that website? Uh, it's uh, www.culturecity.culture.org. C-I-T-Y dot O-R-G, org. I want to say yeah. that you and your wife, Michelle, have done an incredible job. Oh, it's a great you. website. 
And I know you've got a lot of things planned that people can stay tuned to that website to see how they yes, can make please. a difference, right? Correct. This next year Definitely. in 2014. Right. But tell me what makes this different. It's, it's different from a couple of things. You know, there's a lot of great autism foundations and charities out there. But um, they do great work, but their main focus is really in terms of how do you cure the child. Our focus really is about family. How do you bring the family unit together and get them to the point where they feel comfortable in society and that way paving the most nurturing environment for the child to be in. So we do that with kind of three ways. The first thing is we start by talking to the community by changing awareness to an actual movement. So the community starts to embrace these families and understand that these families exist in isolation. So how do you get them back into your businesses? How do you get them back into the culture? So by doing that, we help these businesses understand that whatever they do caters to these families, and that way they get an indirect benefit and the families get a direct benefit. So in that way, when the community culture is changed, the family can then be united. And the family is united because they don't have to worry about where to go, what therapies to do, because you know, through the link with Culture City, they'll be able to identify resources that are out there that will actually have their child's best interests at heart. And by doing that, the child directly is affected, and that way we can save a child's life. So really what Culture City is about, is about uniting the family back with the community. I think that's awesome yeah. because it's just like in our restaurants today. If something is knowing if it's gluten free and, and how to make and to be kind and understand that a exactly. child may have special needs right. so that family can enjoy a meal. Correct. Outside yeah. of the family. Exactly. And to feel comfortable in that right. and that's what you're doing is to say, let's reach out and help each other and try to understand. Right. And you're gonna be able to post things if you create that kind of network on your website. Correct. And then Tell briefly about you want what you want to build, even in ba as a base in Birmingham, Alabama, Correct. because you and your wife both are medical doctors. Exactly. The idea is to actually build a physical building that will provide respite care to these families and also have an educational facility where families can come and get educated about things like financial planning, legal counsel, where to get therapy services, and also have a center that you can come if you really needed money for bare essentials. Because right now, you know, it's tricky to get support. If you, you know, because we are talking about families that the husband or wives might work two or three jobs and they don't have enough money for therapy or food on the table. So we want to be a place where they can come to as a center of refuge and know that they're in a safe environment. And the idea is to start it in Birmingham and hopefully, if God blesses it, one in every city. To create good stewards across the country. Yes. Well, uh, Julian, I think this is something incredible that you and Michelle have decided to put because of your child. And I have um, seen through your children uh, that they are precious children oh, thank you. and you are great parents thank and you're doing a wonderful thing for people across the country. And thank you so much for coming on well, Prescription for, for Healthy me. Lifestyles and paving the way to make a difference for others. And we'll see you next week.